guys, James here, just doing a review on the brand new Dell Precision 5510. So the laptop itself is going to be my daily driver and at no means is any advertisement for Dell. I'm going to be using it mainly with SolidWorks and CAD. To kick off the review, the industrial design of this machine is great. With rubberized carbon fiber for the inside of the device and a hard aluminum for the exterior. The keyboard and trackpad are outstanding. Decent key travel and have a great tactile feel. The backlighting is also top notch. The layout and feel are very similar to a MacBook or an XPS series. The trackpad is definitely one of the best I've used on a Windows laptop and has some good tactile feel to it as well. The AC power clicks in and has a nice little light so you can see it in the dark. Viewing angles are incredible and with this infinity edge display it makes me wish every laptop had this feature. The audio quality out of the 3.5mm headphone jack is very loud. So here are the specs for the model I'm reviewing. It's in the Nvidia Quadro M1000M, the 8GB of RAM, Intel i7-6820HQ at 2.7GHz, a 256GB M.2 SSD, and 1080p matte display. The ports are pretty standard. You have an AC power, USB 3.1, a HDMI, USB Type-C, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the, that's on the left, and on the right hand side you have micro SD. USB 3.1, a battery indicator button, and a Kensington lock. Luckily this laptop does not have the 180 degree back display. I mean like, I don't really see the point in that. This goes to about 135 degrees, which is really nice. It's um, really sturdy and looks good. The thickness of the display is about 6 millimeters, and it's very thin. The base of the unit from the feet to the keyboard is about 15 millimeters, so altogether about 21 millimeters. This is one of my favorite features of the laptop is that Dell has actually included a spot for all the ugly info, which is quite a nice touch in my opinion. Just lift off the lever and your codes and all that are inside there. Some negatives about the laptop is that the speakers, they may get loud, but the placement is not the best. And this is a bit of a picky one, but uh, you can't actually open it with one hand. I mean, it may be a small thing, but it definitely impacts when you're using the laptop. The only other negative that I can think of is the price, which is around 2900 Canadian pesos, which is that's everything included with a three year warranty and the specs as seen. Um, just letting you know that you do get what you pay for. Apart from that, uh, thanks for watching this quick review, and if you have any other questions, just comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks.